I love this place. I'm in a park and it's just a short walk from where I grew up. I used to come here all the time as a kid and I would run around the ball fields and play on the playground and walk in the creek. And as I grew into a teenager, this spot right here became my favorite spot. It was where I could come and have solitude to just think and pray and just be in nature. There's something about nature that invites soul searching. Psalm 139, 23 and 24 says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Now I'm going to ask you a few questions, and you can just answer them on your own. Do you think God needs to search us? What do you think David meant by search me and know me? And what is David acknowledging about God when he says, lead me into the way everlasting? I believe David was inviting God to expose his sinful heart. We would do well to follow the example of this prayer. Sometimes we can be spiritually blind and we're way more likely to see the sins in other people than we are to see the sins in our own heart. How often do we ask God to expose our sin? And are we really willing to take a good look at what he reveals to us? Now, I wanna also share with you three truths. The first truth is that God sees to the very depths of our hearts. There is nothing we can hide from him. We are fully known. And all you have to do to learn more about that is read the rest of Psalm 139. It's a beautiful chapter. It's a little unsettling though, but it's something to celebrate when we pair it with the second truth, which is that God loves us exactly how we are. The third truth is this, that God is the way everlasting. David recognized that. God had a perfect plan before time began to reconcile our sinful hearts with his perfect self through Jesus. That is good news, my friends. When we put our faith and trust in him, our position changes from hopelessly lost to eternally found. This is the gospel. When we pray David's prayer, we're reminded that God sees and knows us and that God loves us exactly how we are and that we can walk in eternal hope. Sometimes we need to block out the noise of life and sit quietly before the Lord. And when I do this, I don't wanna just go over my checklist of prayer requests. I want to invite God to do some searching and revealing in my heart. I want to confess my condition and I want to lay open my heart and ask for his daily mercy. I want to remember to thank him for the hope of eternal life for a sinner like me. I hope you'll take some time this week to do that as well. Wherever and whenever you can, open your heart to God. Ask him to help you see what you need to see. Preach the gospel to yourself daily. Thank him for his mercies because they are new every morning. Have a great day.